Hi there, my name is Sailor with Rainier Outdoor. Today my team and I are going to show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to set up a teepee. Our finished product is going to be a 16-foot diameter teepee using 15 20-foot lodgepole pine poles with two snow flat poles at the top. A few things before we start. You're going to want a flat, large area big enough for your teepee. The ground needs to be able to be staked into to hold your canvas down. You'll need at least two people to put up your teepee. And your tools will be a hammer, measuring tape, pencil, and a clean area to lay out your canvas. The second step is preparing a tripod. You'll lay all three of your base poles out on your canvas with your L and R labeled poles touching the end of your fabric. At the top, you will be having them centered at your smoke box. If you come over to the door, you'll notice that the door pole is about a hand's width or four inches above the canvas. That center point is going to be where you make your tie. Make sure your door pole is four inches onto your canvas and your left and your right pole are sitting at the very base of your canvas. At their intersection where the poles meet the bottom of the tongue of your canvas is where you're going to want to tie your rope. Tie at least four to five times around with a knot at the end and go ahead and leave the remaining rope free hanging because you'll be using that to tie the poles together later. For our next step, we will be preparing our canvas to be tied to the lifting pole. We have laid out our canvas on a flat, clean surface. This way we can roll our canvas inward with this side being the outside of our canvas. Now we'll be doing the second half and rolling this side inward into a nice fold down the center. Now that we have our canvas rolled up in the fashion that we want to make it easy to unravel it, we have it turned over. Now this is the inside facing upward with our canvas pole laying on top. This canvas pole is one of the larger four that you picked out at the beginning. It needs to be strong because it will be holding the weight of the canvas. With your door pole in the position directly to the left of where you want your door, raise your tripod up and walk back your left pole into left position to create your tripod structure. Take the rope that is coming down from the tripod and begin wrapping around the teepee five to six times. Pole eight may be a problem pole and you may want someone to hold it for stability. Our next step is to take our lift pole with our canvas wrapped around it and bring it back around the back of the teepee. This pole is going to be the last one. It'll be placed in its own intersection straight behind the door. We're going to make sure that our canvas pole is directly behind the door and then untie our canvas. It's nice and secure at the top because we did our ballet shoe knot and we can lay the fabric around the TV. Once you have your canvas roll from each side to the front of your teepee, you'll pin it with your pin through the grommets from top to bottom. You'll notice that your door may be off center, that's okay. 
Our next step is going to be shifting the fabric to put your door in place and then moving all of the poles outward to give it a nice tight 16 foot diameter TB lunge. Take your two smoke flap poles and install them from behind the TB into your top two holes. Next, you're going to be sticking down the TV. This is going to require cutting up the extra rope that you have and making beckets and looping them through the grommets. Then use your 12-inch stakes to begin sticking around the TV into the ground. Just a couple things remaining for you to finish up your TV install. Decide whether you want your smoke flaps open or closed. We do suggest that you keep them closed when it's raining and if you would like some sunshine or extra ventilation, go ahead and have them open. You can see how to do that in your manual. Your last step is going to be installing your door. Your door will be in your canvas bag, and you can also see instructions on how to do that in the manual. Now that we've shown you how to set up a TV, we'd like to say thanks to Camp Norwester for sharing their tips and tricks on how to set up the perfect TV. For questions, comments, or concerns, Give us a phone call or visit us at rainieroutdoor.com. We'd love to help. Have a great day.